Hi, I'm Paul Swainson, Research and Development Lead at FutureFit Training, and I am joined by somebody who really needs no introduction, but I've got to do it. This is Dame Kelly Holmes, or Colonel Dame Kelly Holmes That's now, right. the title's getting longer, yeah. um, who is a double Olympic gold medalist and general British sporting legend. And she's here today to talk about her studies with FutureFit and becoming a qualified personal trainer. So Kelly, welcome to the FutureFit TV studio. I'm sure one of the more glamorous locations that you've done interviews in. Uh, a lot of people might be thinking, as an elite successful athlete, why do you need to get a personal training qualification? So do you want to tell us what your reasons for studying with us? Yes, um, I've always had an interest, obviously, in the fitness industry. I was a physical training instructor in the army many years ago. And a lot of the work that I do currently is engaging with the public, uh, passing on my knowledge, my own experiences. And I also felt that to have the credibility in that industry by going through a qualification would be good. Mm -hmm. So I guess lots of people obviously trust what you say, you've got a big audience there, so if you can back that up with some credible qualifications that can only enhance things and, and boost your career as well in many ways. Yeah, definitely. I think it's uh, also around the fact that you get more insights. You know, the industry moves on quite quick. Um, you always learn. I think it's important to learn. And something like the PT, level three diploma, you know, you're going back to the nutrition. I know about nutrition, but you're actually learning more and how to analyze other people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I do my own training, but actually thinking about what other people might want to get out of it. And whilst I might not necessarily just be a one-to-one -one personal trainer, I do have groups. I go take people for runs. If I could just have that extra bit behind me, mm -hmm. uh, it, you know, it just adds to that credibility, I believe. Yeah, that's a lot of things. That's all the same thing a lot of students say is that you, you're working on yourself or training yourself, very mm -hmm. different to working with other people and other the clients you get a whole other insight and perspective on it which is what the qualification is all about really. Yes. Uh, what was it that made you choose FutureFit specifically to do your training? The main reason was the quality of the training you know how in depth you go and actually the standard I think needs to be high in this industry you know people are putting their trust on you some people are and living by having a, a company uh, becoming a PT uh, and I think that actually the client then wants a lot more from you but also you as that PT need to have that backing up because every person that comes through your door is completely different so I think for me it was about how uh, in-depth it was but also the quality the way that you can learn it's quite flexible e-learning one-to-ones group sessions and giving that variety I think helps with um, anybody wanting to go into the industry to fit in with their lifestyle as well yeah, so you felt you had the, the support in different formats that would help you get what you needed to go to do and get the learning in, in some way that suited you. Yeah, definitely, because you know I'm a very busy person, mm -hmm. as you know, personally. Yeah. Um, I run around the country, I fly around the world and trying to fit in a course that's over a long period of time it felt like it was just never gonna ever happen. But then with the mixed learning approach, you know, I got the opportunity to obviously speak with you. Mm -hmm. We met up a few times, uh, have the e-learning, and then I did my practical with other people. And it was just a nice mix. It fitted into my lifestyle and it's fitting in. I mean, I've probably taken a little bit longer than I'd like to, <laughs> but that's because of my own timing, but it's still allowing me to finish the course when it suits me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what you said is, is pretty typical lots of people have got busy lifestyles but there's, a, there's a reason why the course takes as long as it does it's not something you can do in a very short period of time and, mm -hmm. and fast track it it's a, you know, it's a serious career that you're, you're getting into so in a serious profession so you need to take your time to, to study mm -hmm. um, on, on that point though that's probably one of the, sort of the biggest challenges is obviously fitting the studies in uh, as you say very very busy I don't think I've ever met anybody busier <laughs> than, than yourself but that I think is a, is a good message that if, if you can fit it into your lifestyle yeah. uh, and your hectic uh, schedule then, yeah. then anyone can really so yeah. what, what apart from the kind of the fitting it in was there any other big challenges you found with, with the studies or studies so far um, no, I mean, it was really easy to use. The e-learning system's great. It has every bit of information that you need on it. Uh, people are only a phone call away if you really need that extra support. So I don't think there's any major challenges other than my time. Mm. Um, and then, you know, it, they're quite long, the pieces as well, because you're getting so much information and, and maybe some people need to think about, you know, that you're getting a really good quality qualification, that's why they're extended uh, periods of time uh, that you're learning over. And I don't think that there was any 
barriers. It's nothing that I thought, oh, gosh, you know, it doesn't make sense or done whatever. I think it was more my capabilities and my uh, need to understand what it was I was getting the information and to compute that and then obviously articulate, especially in an exam or conversation. But um, it was very easy to be able to do it. It was just that I think hopefully people realise that what is good, it actually, you don't have a time frame. You know, as long as you do complete the elements and then you get the qualification at the end, it really suits you. So if somebody wants to become a PT and that's going to be their full-time living, then they might need to think about having that time frame, putting that time aside and getting on with it. Because hmm. you don't want to take two years if you want to then start, you know, your own company or organisation. Yeah, yeah. So I do think it's like, what is your purpose? Hmm. My purpose is really just to be up you know, upskilled, learn a bit more at my industry, learn what's new, if there is anything, and then have that, um, like I say, the uh, cred uh, uh, credibility in my field, mm -hmm. um, and that suits me. And other people, you know, that's what they're going to do on a day-to-day -day basis, and you need to be good. If you want to get your clients and keep your clients, you've got to be good at it, so yeah. you have to then learn it quicker. Yeah. And then what's what's the next step then for you when you've got your, your qualification? Yeah. What's the what's your plan within, within the fitness industry? Uh, well, I'm actually building my own kind of propositions, my own fitness ideas and concepts. And so, again, that will help with that, you know. I could, yes, I can stand definitely on stage. So I'm a double Olympic champion, um, you know, um, back in the army in terms of my colonel role, um, ex military physical train instructor and that definitely helps <laughs> um, but I think for me I like learning I like going on courses I like to be with other people and when you're in a room full of fitness uh, industry people I want to be able to hold my own and say yeah so am I mm. I think it's good excellent and what's the most exciting thing that you're looking forward to, to doing once you once you're qualified and out uh, there in the industry um the industry is so big now, you know, the opportunities are massive for people in this industry, whatever uh, interest you have. You know, I'm very much into the health and well-being mindset piece as well as the physical part. So for me, it's about how I blend the two things that I'm interested in together to mm -hmm. get the most out of someone. And I always say about being the best version of yourself. My motivation is to kind of, when I'm with people, to kind of make them feel like they can do anything. My most, probably the bits that I'm looking forward to is that development of my own courses um, and then putting them out there and the, in the industry and hopefully, I don't know, get some people to train to be one of my instructors, yeah, you never excellent, know. Excellent, yeah, that will, that will work. I think the interesting thing you've mentioned there about the, the elements that contribute to it, so you've got the, the fitness, nutrition and the mindset and they are mm -hmm. kind of, if you like, the three pillars um, that would make a successful fitness professional. So you, yeah. you're definitely, definitely on the right I'll lines. I'll be there, there, am I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no definitely. <laughs> on the right track. They're, they're the three things to learn more and more about to be successful in terms of getting results with, with clients, which is yeah. fantastic. Um, so Kelly's going to be continuing her studies with us. Um, and once she's qualified, uh, it'll be really exciting to see how, what kind of impact she can make in the industry over and above what she already has done. Thanks very much for coming to see us, Kelly. Great to see you as always. You. For more content, interviews, social media updates and more, check out Future Fit TV.